everyone welcome back to another video i hope you're doing well as you can tell by the title today i'm going to be doing a review slash demo of the nikki tutorials times beauty bay eyeshadow palette this palette is so nice it arrived yesterday and all i can say really is that i was just infatuated with this when it arrived and i just couldn't stop swatching and trying out different shades on my eyes as well so yeah if you're interested in hearing what i have to say about this palette and what kind of eye look i create then please keep on watching i thought it'd be nice just to kind of chat about the palette sort of in general so i ordered it on the 30th of september and it came on the 2nd of october which is yesterday so it was really really quick i actually don't currently know if it's available or not but i will um just pop it in the description let's go ahead and talk about the palette so it actually arrives in a really nice box what i thought was a really really nice touch was not only did nikki include like a really sweet message but there's also a little key on the back here and what it does is it shows you which eyeshadow shades are best used with the finger so i don't know if you can see very well but here there's a picture of a brush and a finger and in comparison to this one there's just a little picture of a brush i thought that was really nice i haven't seen anybody really talk about that um i haven't watched many videos on this palette i've watched a couple but that's about it and nobody really mentioned anything about that so i thought that was just a really nice touch the packaging itself i think the design is absolutely stunning i think it's really 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 nice i like the whole kind of psychedelic theme on this side it's really bright and then there's this half of the palette which is a bit more dark and um yeah I, I really like that as well i feel like in videos it looks totally different but it's really sturdy it's really thick nice and chunky this probably isn't something that i would recommend traveling with i think just because it's so clunky and i don't know it almost feels like a book um i really like it the packaging is super sturdy but it is a big palette this palette cost 25 pounds for 20 shades and in my opinion i think that's pretty amazing <laughs> i think personally it's really nice to see somebody you know collaborating with a brand and bringing out something that's actually really quite affordable so with that all being said let's get on with popping some makeup on our face Oh, so I forgot to mention as well, it opens out like this and you have two mirrors. One is a magnifying mirror and the other one is just a regular mirror. So, yeah, it's like a little, little storybook. So, unfortunately, I can't find my eyeshadow primer anywhere, which is causing me a little bit of stress, not gonna lie. So, I'm just gonna totally use this bare so yeah i'm just gonna go straight in with the eyeshadow no primer or anything so i'm just gonna take a fluffy brush i kind of don't know what i'm gonna use oh god what am i gonna do i'm wearing blue so should i do blue okay i'm gonna go in with the shade zuma which oh god which is this shade here and I'm just going to take that in the crease. Well, I think this concludes it. We're going pink. <laughs> so this is like a really nice muted pink shade. And I'm going to do the same on the other eye as well nice i actually really like this shade it's like a muted pink kind of color and i don't have that in any of my other palettes 
Now I'm going to use this matte purple colour and I'm just going to take that in the crease but I'm going to be really like gentle. Oh I like it, it's kind of like a berry purple. I like that. Also this card i forgot to mention it also has like a description of the shades as well so i used zoom uh, i think i called it zuma but it's zoma <laughs> i used zoma to start off with and it's a peach pink matte and slasher which i'm now using is a mulberry purple matte mulberry mulberry i don't know <laughs> And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the fluffy brush again with a little bit of Zoma once again and just go around the edges and just blend that just so we've got a nice cohesive blend going on. Now I'm just taking another fluffy brush that doesn't have anything on it and I want to go in with Slasher again and just build up that colour a little bit. I'm now going to go in with the shade Pride because it just speaks to me on another level. It's whoop this the mirrors man it's this shade here and let me just quickly show this one. Oh my god oh my god this is a shade um that has like the finger icon on that little card so i'm gonna go ahead and use the finger whoa Oh my god. I literally have no words. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and do the same to this eye. So I just went in with that same pride shade and just packed it on the lid. And then I kind of built up those um, first two colors a little bit more. So I went in again with a Zoma and then packed on the purple just a little bit more because I felt like I was losing it a bit. Okay, so now that that's all done, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my lashes and then apply some falsies and then I'll be right back. These are the lashes that I'm going to be using. They're the BH Cosmetics D305 lashes. They're kind of similar to a Demi Wispy. These ones are kind of more dense in comparison to these that are a bit more kind of light and fluffy and wispy. Whereas these are a lot thicker. Okay, so the lashes are on. I also put some lipstick on as well. I am loving this look. I really love the eye makeup so, so much. I can't actually stop looking at myself in the mirror. I know it's probably really irritating because I'm looking like just here, but I honestly can't believe how pretty it is. Not only is this shade like a duochrome, but it kind of is so glittery and shimmery that it gives you almost like a glossy look on the eyes so if i can get that look without actually wearing like a liquid or anything on the eye then i'm all about that but i can't get over how beautiful this is overall thoughts on this palette i can honestly say that i am so impressed i'm so so impressed i really really love this palette i honestly am just so blown away and i think nikki should be really 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 proud of herself and i'm sure she is but yeah that kind of wraps up today's video so 
I really hoped you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have this palette and what kind of looks you've been doing. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It helps out a lot. And if you like all things makeup, then please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.